They mad because you sexy as hell, honey. You sexy Dexy, okay? They mad because you sexy, child, but you ain't sexual. You ain't out here giving it up to anybody, really, right now that I'm picking up on. But they don't like that shit. They don't like that you can embody all of this sexual energy and still remain divine somehow, okay? You're definitely a divine feminine. You embrace your divine femininity, but part of being a divine feminine is being comfortable in how God made you, loving yourself, showing love to yourself in however way you choose to do that. And this is what you do. You embrace this sexiness, this vibrance that exudes from you, child. They don't like that shit, okay? You get justice from doing this as well. You ain't out here being no hoe. I'm telling you, I'm not even picking up that you're actually currently sleeping with anyone. So let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this download that I received. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? What is it that you would like for us to know here? Yeah, they trying to say you devil, you devilish or you demonic, you know, them Bible thumpers. I'm going to just keep it above. There's some type of Bible thumper energy here that's projecting onto you and my collective okay so holy spirit what do you want us to know about this divine feminine who embraces her sexual energy she embraces her sexiness what is the message for this feminine what do you want us to know about this here holy spirit and it's a number of feminines i'm picking up we have the will of fortune like i said it works for you okay it 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 brings you good karma. We're going to just keep it above. It brings you fortune. It, it works for you. I don't know what you do. Maybe you're a model. I don't know. Maybe you just like to post pictures of yourself and you look good doing it and people don't like it. You know, they, they are in regret every time you post a picture, every time you show how fortunate you are. Okay. Physically fortunate. I'm hearing. Okay. What else? Holy spirit. We have the three of swords. I think your beauty, your sexual energy, your sexiness, your your are, your essence, it's all of that, okay? It, it gets in, it bothers these people. It fucks with them somehow. It makes them feel like they're inadequate. It causes a rift between you and other people with this three of swords energy here. They feel bad about how good you look. That's what I'm hearing. It's a number of energies. Maybe you were chosen. And they think, wow, the only reason why she got chosen is because she's sexy and she puts off all of this sexual energy. It's something like that here. Okay. What? We have the high priestess. You're very mysterious. I'm telling you, it's something about your R and energy that grinds these three of pentacles gears. They don't like how you, you pop out. And you do it in a way that, you know, they can't even really tell what your activity is like when it comes to, you know, sex and intimacy. They want to assume that you are a hoe, but you are nine of pentacles. Okay, see, they can't, they can't excuse away that part of your R because you definitely give off some form of divine, divine femininity. You know, you are a queen of wands, very sexual, very sexual in how you embrace your hips, your curves, your breast, your bone structure in your face i'm hearing is something about your bone structure you have a very like slenderized type of face i'm hearing you're very it's giving model okay it really is it's giving model with curves okay it just ain't no skinny mini that i'm picking up on you coming out as a high priestess nine of pentacles queen of wands and that high priestess speaks to the 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 fact or what I was picking up that they feel like you shouldn't be looking and dressing the way that you do and behaving and saying and embracing your 
femininity like you do because maybe you are in some type of position of authority where people feel like you shouldn't act that way. It's something like that here. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. With this Queen of Wands, ooh, the Holy Spirit said that's the truth now. So you have some type of position. You're in some type of profession. So maybe you're not a model because people would expect a model to look and be how you look and be, okay? But you're, whatever profession you're in, people feel like you are behaving in a way that a person who has that type of position should, okay? But it don't matter what they say because you still putting in that work, poo poo. And you get in, you reaping the benefits. Like I said, the will of fortune is in your favor. That was the first card out. You're still embodying this divine feminine energy, no matter what they think about how you dress, you know, what you wear, how you pose in your pictures. I'm hearing all of that, child. It sound like just some little haters, you know what I'm saying? Who, who ain't got that damn gumption like you do, who don't have that R and essence and energy that you have. And they watching you from a distance, wishing that they could pop off and pop out like you do, okay? But they don't have it. They could have it. That's what I'm getting from this globe here. They got the potential to do and be exactly what you're doing and being. Maybe not on the same level, but instead of hating on you, I feel like they, they should be embracing their own divine femininity. That's what this ball, this globe is, this rainbow globe. I feel like that's their potential energy of how things could be for them if they stop hating on you and focusing on you so much, okay? Because the two of wands is falling right up under the five of cups. So it's like they see you post something, see you say something, see you do something, and they get to feeling some type of way. Okay, they get to trying to cause endings with their mouths by making it seem like you're wrong or you're in some type of lustful karmic energy with this death card here. They, they want to try to put something bad on you about it. That's what I'm getting. Let me clarify something real quick, y'all. I want to see something. Yeah, they don't like they don't like how you transform. So they're trying to stop your ongoing transformation instead of working on their own transformation. Okay, that's what I wanted to clarify with that. Death coming out behind the two wands. It's too much focus on what you got going on and not enough of focus on their own shit. That's definitely what I'm hearing. We have, the, <clears throat> excuse me, we have, what is this? I want to make sure. Y'all, what is going on today? Been using too many different decks, child. Hold on. These decks, this is a different symbol. I just want to confirm. I believe this is the Knight of Pentacles. It's either the Knight of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles, but I just want to confirm that symbol. Because it, it either way, it goes back to the peeping. It, even if it's the Page of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles, it's the Page of Pentacles. It goes back to that peeping energy that I was just discussing and how they constantly watching what you're doing, what you're posting, how you shine, what clothes you wear, what your makeup looks like, what your hair look like, if you showing your ass this time, okay, what's being exposed. It's that type of vibe, but they, they're not looking at what they could potentially have. But they are bothered, child. These people are pressed, honey. What else? Can I get some energy on these three of pentacles? We have the ace of cups. Okay, what they say, haters are really people who love and admire you low-key. They wish they could be like you. They have a lot of admiration for you. This ace of cups is giving off that vibe. Like, these people... They act like they can't stand you, but they really admire you. They really admire the confidence that you exude when you be your authentic true self, when you embrace your sexuality, okay? They wish that they could be the way that you are. I'm telling you, it's heavy. I'm feeling that, heavy. But they're facing blockages and boundaries that <clears throat> are is causing them to just like, 
not feel and think that they could have this same type of vibe to themselves. It's like they don't think that they can be and do what you're doing. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Clarify this Eight of Swords and this Seven of... We have the Hermit. I feel like these people think that if they try to do and behave like you do and behave, Divine Feminine, they ass going to end up having a, like... Like, it would cause endings for them. It would cause problems for them. You know, they don't, they can't pull it off. They would have to go into seclusion even. I'm hearing if they try to behave the way that you behave, if they post the pictures that you post, if they said the things you said, if they did the things that you did, they would. They would have to give up somehow. Like, they would take losses. They couldn't handle the pressure that comes with, behaving and doing what you be what you do and how you behave and again you're not doing anything karmic or low vibing okay what you are doing is bringing you peace and happiness and that's loving on yourself embracing yourself treating yourself you know not being afraid to show off your beauty your joy to people okay you don't care who decides to judge you for that you know, if they want to try to say you a hoe, you don't give a fuck, okay? Because you're still going to live in this Ace of Wands energy. You're still going to be whoever you are naturally, phenomenally, okay? You embrace your body. It's something about your body here, okay? It's something about how fine you are. Like, maybe they feel like you could take their man. It's that type of vibe. But you ain't even trying to take nobody, man. Clarify that, Holy Spirit, because I'm hearing that. One second, y'all. Let me close my door. <clears throat> my throat, child. What is going on, child? I'm picking up that these people, these women, child, like, they pressed, child. They can't, they can't call it. They can't call it. Somebody think you messing with their man. Let me take a sit real quick. Okay. Somebody think that you messing with your with their man. And I just got a notification. That's confirmation. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the six of swords. Somebody thinks that their man is wanting to move on to calmer waters with you, Divine Feminine. And I guess the way that you portray yourself publicly on whatever social media platforms or whatever you have that people can view you on, okay? They feel like that their man is going to move on from them and come to you. Whoever this is, we have the nine of swords. That's the real reason behind the hate for how you look and how you present yourself. Who? We have a king of wands. So there's a masculine energy out here who I'm picking up on who has their eye on you, Divine Feminine, okay? This person has been, with this King of Wands energy, that's giving sexual energy to me. Maybe this person has realized that they're somebody they were with or that they want to be with is physically attracted to you. And there's been some drama behind that shit. They, they've accused, they have accused this person, I'm hearing. They have accused this person of wanting to be with you, of being with you sexually even. Okay? This one of these feminists in particular is in this 1414 on the phone, feels this way. And it's, it's really causing her to be broken down i mean this woman is in the nine of wands and the five of pentacles but i feel like she has friends or other people that she's put on to you that she's probably talked to you talked to them about you i'm hearing and you know they've become fixated on you 1441 on the phone but it's because of whoever this king of wands is and whatever they think y'all future gonna be we got a 10 of cups and a 10 of pentacles. And right behind that, we got the king of cups. 
So this woman, this may be what actually is happening, okay, for you. This I feel like this is somebody you know. You know this King of Wands, King of Cups. I feel like he a divine masculine too. This this energy been with this other woman. And the and this you I mean you look now you didn't came out here as the high priestess, the nine of pentacles, the queen of wands, and the damn empress, okay? This masculine wants to be with you. That's just period. Maybe you are, you maybe you do flaunt your body, okay? Maybe you do embrace your sexuality, but that ain't the real reason why they coming for you. They coming for you because this man wants to have a new beginning with you. This man views you as the end all to be all, and this is where he want to be at, okay? This king of pentacles, king of cups energy here, I said King of Pentacles, child. He probably is going to come out here as the King of Pentacles. This is a divine masculine too. This is someone who sees you for who you truly are and they mad about it. Okay? Because he don't want to deal with whoever this is anymore. One second, child. I'm getting a lot off of this right here. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the hangman. This man got choices. This man, the hangman can also talk about transformation because the choices that you made in the past got that got you caught up. You have learned from them choices. You have realized some things and you know what's going to be the best thing for you to do moving forward. And I feel like that's the energy that this divine masculine is in. He has got gotten on to you somehow. Okay. And, you know, he's not going to allow anything to interrupt him making contact with you again. I feel like this is somebody that you already have been dealing with. And it's a lot of interruptions happening right now. I got a phone call that's coming in. It came in back to back. Somebody pulling up, bumping their music to my house. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to stop this reading, okay? Because what I'm trying to tell you is... These people are trying to make you feel some type of way about who you are and how you behave because they know that is something that attracts this divine masculine to you, okay? And if you stop being your true divine feminine authentic self, this may make this man back away from you. I'm getting that. Like he is... See somebody ringing my doorbell, y'all. One second. Okay, I am back, y'all. So look, check this out. I also feel like that's how persistent this divine masculine is going to be when he approaches you. Okay, because he did eight of cups that other situation. That's why he came out here as a king of wands initially. Okay, because this man is no longer with whoever this feminine is that's hating on you. Okay, because she knows that you are about to be the queen of pentacles and that you are about to enter into an ultimate connection, the ultimate connection, the ultimate partnership. You, this is your divine counterpart we talking about here and his ex, because this is an ex energy I'm picking up on off of her. She hating on you because a tower has occurred for her. In this situation with him. And she realizes that he is going to be with you. Okay. And another interruption. One second y'all. This is crazy. That's how I'm telling you how persistent he's about to be. 111 on the phone. One second. Okay. Wow. This is crazy. But this is all. I feel like this is all sequential. This all is relevant to what is going to happen in this situation. This woman can't stop this man from being with you, okay? She can hate on you, say whatever. She can call you all kind of hoes, tricks, bitches, sluts. We don't give a fuck, okay? This woman is not going to stop this divine connection. So all she can do is hate on you and talk shit about you, okay? And stalk you and stare at your pictures and 
analyze everything you say and do with this Knight of Pentacles here. Because this transformation is about to occur between you and this divine masculine here. Okay? Because that karmic cycle, whatever he had going with her, I ain't gonna call it karmic, but whatever it was, it has come to an end with this world card. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know here? Mm -hmm. Okay, then. <laughs> we have the, what is this? This is the Page of Wands, okay? Communication is coming in, y'all. I don't know. All of those interruptions, like, okay, that person was like, you finna answer this, though. Okay, but still, you know what I'm saying? All of those interruptions, that just tells me that communication is coming in. This divine masculine has turned his back to whatever, whoever, it don't matter, okay? He coming to get you. That's what I'm getting here. He about to call you, text you some. Hope you don't got him on block. Because he has laid whatever was keeping him away from you, if he has laid that to rest, okay? And he is going to have this new start with you. And there's nothing that this person can say or do about it. So haters gonna hate, child. That's all I can say. Yep, haters gonna hate, but they kill themselves when they do that because all that hate do is just make you shine even brighter, okay? And anybody with some damn sense can see, and here go this King of Pentacles energy, anybody with some sense can see that this man is making the right choice, that you are his divine counterpart. He got enough sense to see. It don't matter what nobody else can see, but she see it because now y'all coming out... Y'all coming out here as each other's match twice as the king and queen of wands, the king and queen of pentacles. And I'm telling you, as soon as this man makes contact with you, he's going to be persistent with doing that with this strength card here. You and him are going to have a divine connection, divine partnership. Like this is it. You and this man ain't breaking up, okay? Y'all go together real bad and forever bad, okay? It's that type of vibe, okay? Yeah, I just made up a new something new with that forever bad, but it's given forever bad. We go together, okay? Ain't no breaking up. This who I want to be locking lips with for infinity and beyond, okay? And so what? Let them hoes be mad about it. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, with this and it's three of them. It's so this is her and them her friends. That's what I'm picking up. And I'm picking up that this ex wishes that she could be and do what you do because what you do and how you do it has not stopped this man from being with you. But if she tried it, if she tried to be and behave like you behave, you know, she not going to get them same results. And see, that's the other part of that too. Okay. But I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps someone. I'm going to put all these pieces together so the child can get the full real spill. But if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. Okay. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.